Hello and welcome back in Autumn Waters. And today we try to map out the way for towards our sample. I'm a computer after all. It may take a while. Eventually, we'll get where we need to. Now I know where we are, which is amazing. In here we should be able to get there is no one left. This is more still sucks. I don't know if we could get through here. There's nothing. Is it? This is not a possibility to get through here. What a shame. Be back. Of course, this map is not going to be 100% accurate, but I think it's enough for our purpose. Hmm. I think we are already, we can go down there, maybe we need to take a different route like this, over here. From the station, we need to go over here. Well, we could go down here. <laughs> this would be perfect if we can't. Right here. And can we go down here somewhere, maybe? No. We can go forward. I'll destroy that one. Uh, oh, okay, we can get through. Uh, I think we are on the right path. I think that means I'm already lost. But there it is. Between the rocks and the stalks are faint sandy passages towards the clearing. This is what I couldn't find before. A small clearing between the avenues of stalks to the west of the ordered world dissolved into the chaos of the southern forest. Fragments of a shell recently shed glint the sand like shards of cloudy glass. What creature left is here?
clouded shell, a piece of creature's shell with a cloud pattern on it. This is what we needed. Now we can look for Mina Minami? Minami. This we have to do. Us. can go east now. Let's, let's restore our land. The stove is licking spores from the white slip on the side. They are carried across the soft sand by the currents coming from the east wave. This feature rises steeply toward the jagged edge of the wave, splitting the stream currents like the head of an axe. This stalk clings to the edge of the nearby outcrop away from the loose sand of the central wave. This skull is lit among the tall outcrops of the northern edge to the currents and open water beyond. Let's make our way east to the source of the transporter signal. I don't know what to expect, but the transporter is nice. There's some history between us that I haven't seen her in years. Not since. Look. You don't ha need to worry about it, they'll just find her. Here the gully opens out into one of the rifts, cutting deep into the bedrock of the reef. There, look, a cave entrance, cut into the side of the rift. It should allow us to bypass the rift, although I'm not sure where we'll emerge. Protected by sheer size of the rift, it, this shelf leads down to a small cavern entrance in the rift wall. The round mouth of the cave stretches away into the dark, stalks hung quietly in the dark. There is a strange even evenness to the walls of this cave, almost as if it was a vast borehole drilled into the reef. The stalks even seem to get down here, perhaps they are less reliant on sunlight than I initially thought. We are deep in the rock now, what form this hold up caverns with these strange undulating walls. I wonder how the stalks survive without sunlight? Maybe they are fed by the frost above? What do you think? I don't think so. It's true that we've seen, seen no root system, but I don't think that eliminates the possibility. Protecting a small underground room, the store stalks signature coating of bubble screens in the dark. Uh. Okay, so. 
Schnürsack. Schnürsack. Ein Schnürsack. A cave-in has severed some sections of the slope's roof network stretching down from the floors above. What can they tell us? Maybe they are being fed by the forest. Uh. Something new. That's the same. Stop cooked. A tangle of silken roots from a stop colony carbon enriched. The cave starts to get tight here, and in the shadows ahead, stalks sprout the tunnel. We will be able to get through. The stalks here are thick and unintertwined underground in the stark light. The headlamps, they resemble little oversized worms. Bright light from the east of this large cavern is broken up by tall pillars, casting strips of light and dark across the smooth walls. These pillars punctuate the cavern, stalks crowded around their bases. They support the vast weight of the reef above. These bloated creatures are pumping clouds of spores out into the water around them. Stalks coins rise out of the sand. Uh. These spores are different. The stalks are nearby seem to be stimulated by them. Could this spot be used to make stocks extend to bring them out of hiding? We should test them out on a retracted colony. Okay, it does not work like that. These down stocks are pumping out clouds of short with spores. They look like oversized mushrooms. These stalks are feeling the water of spores, we should start logging information on them. Unlike other stalk spores, which survive until they settle, the spores from these stalks dissolve moments after they are released. These stalks seem to be shriveling up. It is because they are too exposed to its withering plants? These large growths seem to be sustaining this colony with their spores. Perhaps they carry nutrients, even chemical signals. These spring stalks seem to require very particular conditions to grow. I've seen so few thus far on the reef. The small stalk sits quietly beside the dying colony. Soon there won't be anything left here to protect from small injuries. The far side of the cover narrows to the darkness. I can feel the faint pools of distance and head. Uh. Another rift. How can I cross it? The current here is so strong. Hmm. But that truly is interesting. How can we cross it? Wait. Wait a second. So we have another one anyway. I need one. Let me sample. Then 
something to help them. The current must have almost run down this tunnel, scraping the walls into smooth lines, and the stalks block the flow. This might be a bad idea. The wall ahead is thick with stalks, scraping the ceiling into the surrounding bricks. Light filters in from a large opening, making this force drifting in the water good colored sparks. Tucked behind this pillar, perhaps this stop will hear as an early warning predators coming through the cave. Right? Uh. Look, those stalks in the cave mouth, they retracted. Perhaps if we could make them extend, they would block the current. But only have them. Mm. We need to go back. Sorry, but we need to go. Mm. Yes. We need one sample. We do need it. Really, this one creates more for us. It does. No. The cave move ahead leaves this passage exposed to the full force of the northern current, blocking some hole that makes sense. They block the current! These spores encourage them to extend and fill the tunnel. With these soft spores, we can control the stalks to our advantage. This will be useful. There's a defined correlation between struggling stock colonies and these spring stocks. Are they helping support these colonies? Another of these growths supporting a small colony at the current's edge. There's no logic to where these grow, but I can. Packed into the rift to wall, this shot allows protection from the fast blowing water cutting through the rock into the heart of the reef. Look, out in the reef, a retracted stalk colony. If we can get them to extend, we'll provide shelter from the current. A handful of stalks cling to the reef will feel blown into spiraling shapes by the rushing currents. But of the spores, the wall here feels the full force of the current. Perhaps it can slip, be slowed upstream somehow. Even this close to the wall, the darkness of the deep rift is intimidating. I keep slipping in the face of this wall. How deep does it go? If the current can be slowed or navigated, this is the place to do it, where the rift runs and the gap opens up on both sides. The current slides down for the rift from the north here, crossing is going to be difficult and is important to slow further up. Oh, we did slow that. We slowed it down. Um, but are some more samples. Okay. Uh. I 
huge cross is out from the wall here, a stop cake with two attracted souls. A golden garden waiting for now. Okay. The small opening in the wall provides a little shelter for the holy milk or some salt to take up food from. We are across. Thank you, Stalks. Oh, and thank you too. Thanks to you too. Another smooth tunnel leads out to the light. A circle of warm light shows this tunnel opens out into the upper shelf of the east wing. Black lines above. That we'll see another time. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!